There you go. All right, we're here with Ryan Mitchell, author of Web Scraping with Python. This is the third beautiful edition. <laughs> Uh, O'Reilly Publishing, and uh, I, I saw you in there signing books to your fans. Mm -hmm. It's very exciting. Yes, my multitudes of fans. Yeah, yeah. It's really all about the fans. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's great. So, um, so maybe give us give us the, uh, the the synopsis. Web scraping with Python. I mean, I guess that says it all right there. But I mean, maybe people need to know more about web scraping. Yeah. So, uh, web scraping is an interesting subject in that it's not a particular language or library or piece of software. Where it's actually a, a collection of a lot of different libraries and languages. Of course, I focus on Python, but it's a, it's a collection of a lot of different techniques mm -hmm. that you can use to scrape the web. Um, and that's one of the things that really appeals to me about web scraping mm -hmm. is that um, it's really just a collection of techniques, and you have to look at a website, uh, figure out how to apply those techniques in the right way. Um, it's all about solving problems, uh, solving them in efficient ways, collecting data. It gets into big data and machine learning and mm -hmm. lots of really cool subjects. So now your talk, was it of the same name, Web Scraping with Python? No, it was actually Web Spelunking with Python. Oh, okay. So I, write, <laughs> I do a lot of talks about web scraping um, and they start with, okay, well here's a website, here's how you connect to the website with Python, here's how you get the HTML code from the website, here's how you parse the HTML. And I wanted to do something a little more different, a little more interesting. Well, it's all interesting, but <laughs> I want to do something fun. Um, so I went through basically all of the techniques that web, uh, website administrators and, and programmers can use to try to stop bots from scraping their site. Yeah. And I just sort of went point by point and said, you know, here's how you sort of get around it, here's how you recognize it, here's what you can do about it. Yeah. <laughs> and that's cool, and, and that's what leads me to the next question. Whenever I hear scraping, <laughs> right, I instantly think of hacking. Yeah. Uh, and so, um, so I, I have a feeling that maybe that's part of your background, or? Um, I do a lot with security. <laughs> okay. Um, actually, I, I gave a talk at DEF CON um, okay. in August. So, I, you know, I certainly wouldn't consider myself a, a hacker. Yeah. Uh, but scraping websites that don't want to be scraped is an interesting topic. Mm. It's, um, it's almost like penetration testing. Yeah. In, in some ways, but uh, rather than getting into secret data, you're getting into the regular data, only right. with a bot instead of a human. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and so, and you said you spoke at DEF CON just last year? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's 2016 already. <laughs> last year, yes. <laughs> awesome. And and, um, and and what was the the subject matter there? Was it was similar to what we were talking about here as far as yeah. circumventing the captures and the... Yeah, that talk was actually called Separating the Bots from the Humans, and um, I was sort of presenting both sides of it a little bit, what you can do as a website administrator to prevent bots, um, and what you can do as a bot to prevent website administrators. Um, mm -hmm. And so I, I went a little more into depth into some subjects, um, but, you know, yeah, they were very different talks, uh, mm -hmm. slightly different subjects. I talked about um, some things I went more into depth here, and some things I went more into depth with at, at DEF CON. But mm -hmm. you know, it's a subject I really enjoy. It's yeah. fun. It's like a big puzzle. You know, they try to stop you, and, and what can you do to get in anyway? That, yeah, that's the fun part, I think, of yeah. just hacking. It's, it's just like a really, really long game of chess, you know? And yeah. Like I was talking, to, I think it may have been you yesterday uh -huh. at the event where we were talking about how Google, right, they're, they're not doing CAPTCHA. They're not doing a lot of these older methods of bot prevention. They're actually doing uh, like uh, like uh, end user behavior. Yeah, behavioral techniques to try and prevent bots. Mm -hmm. um, so y the cool thing about bots is, as with some of the Python libraries, you can be exactly the same as a browser. You can literally sort of automate Firefox or Chrome and go to these sites and present it the exact same headers and and um, you know make the exact same requests mm -hmm. that a human user would make. Mm -hmm. So what's the one thing that's separating the bots from the humans in this? case, it's behavioral patterns, mm -hmm. right? Um, how fast do they move through the site? Um, how do they enter text? How do they move their mouse around? How do they click on things? Um, and I think that's really going to be the next big, big thing for preventing bots. Yeah, yeah, it's behavioral. And then I think someone was joking yesterday, they, you, you may just have uh, like uh, a mechanical Turk, you know, sort of, you know, uh, 
uh, moving the mouse around somewhere, yeah. uh, you know, to try to get past that. Yeah, and people have been using um, sort of mechanical chirp type solutions to solve captures for a really long time. Yeah. Um, but what happens when you get to the point where you see someone who looks like a human and is moving around the site very nicely, but they've been loading 10,000 pages for the past 24 hours? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they're really bored. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, well, that's 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 fun and that's exciting. And uh, uh, you know, thanks for coming and, and doing your talk. Um, you know, again, it's the book is Web Scraping with Python, and uh, it's Ryan Mitchell and uh, third edition and uh, beautiful book, fun topic. And uh, thanks for coming to talk with us today. Thank you for having me. Awesome. <laughs>